Hello everybody, let's see how flexible we can get. Hello my beautiful subscribers, Rasa the Dancer is here. Welcome, Vixie today is visiting us. You will see her walking around today, so don't get distracted. Today's video, guys, we're gonna go into our stretches and it's gonna be for the upper body. I'm gonna give you three kind of stretches that I love to do. Would you like to go? And guys, I've made loads of videos with stretches before, so I'm gonna start attach them in the description box as well, so you can check them out as well. But now, without further ado, let me show you some of the stretches that I think are super helpful. You ready? Let's do it. The first stretch we're gonna do is a stretch through movement and it's gonna open up your chest, especially the upper area here in the back, which gets really, really tense. And you will feel as well a little bit shoulders here stretching as well. It's really, really good. You need to have an open position, nice and strong legs, bring your pelvis a little bit more in because you don't want to stretch anything about the lower here. This is isolated. We only gotta work on the upper body. So we bring the arms up and then my palms are facing there. And now I'm going into a little curly ball. As I do so, I'm making sure that I'm taking my upper body with my arms into that curl, but leaving the lower part holding tight. So I curl up here. And then as I'm coming back with my arms, circle, palms up, and now I curl into a ball here. Now I'm bringing back up and I curl here. Then I bring it back up and I curl here. Now when I do this, I'm using all of my arms and the shoulders and the chest, I'll show you from this direction, to curl as much as I can through breathing, through movement, right? So this keeps me tight and this stretches all of this area into the movement. And then I am opening and I'm stretching one more time, but now from down into the curl and through movement. All of this is very important in dancing, but also for your arm styling and everything, this is the stretch that you definitely need. And the fact that you are stretching through movement also will help you when you do arm styling as well, because that is also through movement. So try and stretch like that. It's a very safe stretch because we do it through movement slowly and you feel the movement stretching you gently. And it's a very, very good stretch and you can use it in dancing. Stretch number two is gonna be, we're gonna collect the arms up, stretch them up. Now, once you're in this position, you want to push your shoulders down. We never want to raise the arms up and then raise the shoulders up, yes? We want to keep the shoulders as we stretch up down and the arms are here. Now, this is already a stretch and it's already good, but the maximum effort that we want to make in this particular stretch is once you get into this position now, you want to start stretching a little bit back. Now, before you actually try it, let me tell you a couple of things where you could go wrong. In this stretch in particular, you might hurt your lower back if you don't do it correctly. So, have a look from this position here. As I'm here, I'm not bending my back, if you notice. What I'm doing first, I'm stretching and engaging up, and then I'm using my arms to go as back as possible, comfortably without breaking off your shoulders and then I'm gently allowing my arch to happen. Now if I don't engage my core this happens. This is when it's dangerous for the back. So instead we want to engage the core right here and keep it up as we arch back. Now, this is important because in styling in salsa and bachata, we need to make sure that our arms could be behind the ears. So a lot of the times, because of lack of flexibility, our arms are like this, right? So this is why this stretch is important. 
because you are trying and flexing the arms back. And sometimes if you feel a lot of resistance in the beginning, you might struggle. Don't push too hard. Always think about long stretches and think about every single day. Don't think about how far you can stretch, yes? It's all day-to-day -day basis and then you're gonna get better through time. So the most important thing is to try and keep going a bit further every single time a bit further and you want to at some point be able to have a bit of a stretch here in the back as well so that you will feel these parts opening and it will help you with your arms. Stretch number three happens through the position that you already know is the arms up. But now the stretch itself is going to actually be sideways to one side and then of course you're gonna be stretching to the other side as well. So now, this stretch itself is very common, we do it here, but it's a little bit different, it's a bit more intense when you actually have both arms up. Because what we're trying to achieve here is actually maximum stretch in your arms and armpits. That is what we want, we wanna loosen up those shoulders so that the chest would have also more fluidity through the movement. So that's why I recommend this stretch right here. Different stretches serve different purposes. It's not that they're not good, it just serves a different purpose, right? So this stretch right here is for shoulders and for arms and for our chest, right? So as I stretch up here, again, remember to push those shoulders down, engage your core, don't bend, engage up. Always up with your body before you reach. And you should feel here, especially on the side, a very good stretch. Now, this muscle is super long. As you stretch, not only here you will feel it, you will feel it coming into your hip, which is really, really good. But again, 10%, right, of everything that I say, don't go like, and then you, and then, you never the same again. So, so now, every time you're doing a stretch, try to make sure you stay there for like, I don't know, 30 seconds, yes? Try not to do this. You are not warming up, you are stretching. So hopefully you already warm before the stretch, and then it's a long lasting stretch. About 30 seconds here, and then you can come up, and then about 30 seconds here. And once you're done, you can relax, shake it up, and maybe repeat it one more time. And that will open you up also very nicely. Guys, make sure you leave a comment if you like more videos about stretching. And please let me know what kind. What do you struggle with? If you leave me a comment, I'm most likely going to do my best to provide the service. And talk about service, subscribe to this channel, guys, and make sure you ring a notification bell because then you will know when my new video will come up. Now, guys, as I said before, we have other videos as well about stretches. Just they serve a different purpose, so make sure you click on them and keep on stretching. Always remember, safety first, so warm up before you stretch. Guys, love you loads. See you soon.